Hey, uh, hey everybody, it's Glenn, and uh, I'm here to do another uh, Geo Geeks and Cars. It's been a while, haven't rolled one for uh, for a bit. Um, it's now, uh, what is it, around August the 3rd or 4th, and I'm in Fort Collins, Colorado. Right now, many of you who follow me know that I've been here a few weeks, and uh, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm meeting up with uh, Jeff Dahlke. And Jeff is with uh, Remote Geosystems here in Fort Collins. And we're going to have a chat. He's got a new uh, app in the ArcGIS Marketplace and got some really cool, cool stuff going on. Um, apparently, Jeff had a flat tire or something, so I'm picking him up. And there we go. So we got him. So we got Jeff. Hey, who's this? Hey Glenn. Hey Jeff. Hey, Good thanks for getting you, us, man. Man, I heard you had a flat tire or something. <sighs> well, you know, not no, no, it wasn't a flat tire. We're in Fort Collins. I had a fat tire. Oh yeah, you were. So I, I really tire. appreciate the, you know, no, no drinking and riding. Ah, okay, cool. So I guess we can't go and have one after since you already had yours, huh? Uh, so that's what Uber's we'll for. See. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here's Jeff, and who's that? that uh, this is Lucky. Friend? This Lucky? is uh, Lucky, the geo office dog. All right. He looks pretty happy back there. Yeah, checking it out. All right. So like I said, we're here in Fort Collins, and uh, Jeff is... Jeff, what's your role? Are you the founder, co-founder? Uh, co-founder, uh, I wear the title managing director. So. Okay. V Remote Geosystems? Correct. Or Remote Geosystems, Inc. Uh, we were mm -hmm. founded here in Fort Collins about six years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, our specialty is... Uh, Helping people, finding ways to make it easy for people to capture geospatialized video and then put said video on maps. A video on maps, good. And that's, uh, no doubt, that's a, a booming business these days, I'm sure, with so many uh, sensors. I mean, we're capturing video right here on our GoPro. That's, and, that's I mean, correct. And you could probably do stuff with, with this, I bet, right? P we if potentially it's... could, that's right. So, you know, if, if there's if there's GPS and there's video, uh, our specialty is putting those two things together and then, again, putting it on a map. So, yeah, as you said, um, you know, with, with especially with the, the growth and, and popularity of drones and the geospatial yeah. space, uh, we're just seeing more and more interest in, in how do I tag my video and how do I get that onto a map and, and you know particularly in the Esri world the, the Esri Art GIS, Esri Art GIS for desktop and, and so on. All right so you guys make that easy or easier and well actually we I've seen your stuff before and you do make it easy. I appreciate that yeah it's you know add video load the map you yeah know, so. good. So speaking of that, so um, the product, um, Line Vision. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got a couple of products. We, we do. Um, our our trade name for our suite of software is Line Vision. Um, and uh, as of recently, you know, as we talked at the um, the uh, Esri UC here a few weeks back, uh, we've just launched two products into the Esri ArcGIS marketplace. Uh, one is Line Vision. Esri Maps. That's a standalone tool that allows you to bring in uh, videos, photos, uh, documents, put that on a map. Uh, it doesn't actually require you to have uh, the Arc desktop tool, uh, but uh, can still leverage Esri data, you know, raster imagery, RTS online maps, um, shape files, whatnot. Um, and then we do have a true add-in for the art map environment called Line Vision Esri Art Map Add-in, um, and so that that tool is also available in the marketplace now. Okay, good. So um, now, how long have you been in the marketplace? Like, is this like the first? The, the first yeah, app yeah, there? yeah, right, right before the the UC. So you know, okay. right there, beginning of Jan uh, July, um, we we got all our apps up in there, and just in time for the start of the start of the show. Yeah. Okay, and you work with other platforms too, I assume, like you know, uh, Google Earth users. We we do. Or... We have a we have a Line Vision tool for Google Earth as well. And and one of the nice things about the Line Vision suite of software is you can actually um, you know put the videos, the photos, these documents, these these non traditional media types, non traditional geospatial media types. You can put that together and say like the Esri platform, but then also share that as a geo project with somebody who might be using Google Earth. So there's this this portability even amongst different brands of GIS. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. So uh, speaking of Esri, we, I actually saw you a few what three weeks ago. Yeah, it's, in it's San Diego. Hard to believe it's been that long already. Yeah. Right. I've been here ever since. Drove drove here. And, uh, yeah, it was good. So um, so I was the show. You were there. 
your company was there as part of the uh, startup pavilion? Correct. Startup yep. zone, yeah. Yep, we were part of the startup zone uh, again this year. Um, that was a great experience. Um, in fact, we had a wonderful turnout for our, our talk on the Tuesday there. We did a talk on uh, drones, map, collaborate, and I mean, I think that theater is really set up for like 30 people, and, and there must have been 100 there. So uh, oh. it was quite a shock for, for us, and, and I think maybe even Esri as well, but uh, mm -hmm. It was, uh, it was a nice uh, event to, to give, be able to give that presentation and then you know just throughout the three days of the event in general uh, a lot of good conversations with uh, both old and new friends in GIS yeah so yeah, yeah. so uh, are you guys relatively new to the like uh, startup program or have you been in that for like we years yeah yeah uh, two and a half years I, about right now um, so so yeah we've been in there beginning I think it was in January or February 2015 is, is when we got into the program so it's been a great program for us um, Esri does a fantastic job of supporting the startups with uh, the tools and resources you need to build uh, Esri apps yeah definitely cool so um like I mentioned, we're here in Fort Collins. Are you from here? Or? I'm not. I'm, no. I'm actually from the Atlanta area. So, Atlanta, I've been okay. out here 19 years, I think, yeah. now. Oh, okay. So it's uh, it's home now. Yeah. You know, you're like a native. Uh, yeah, pretty much. much. <laughs> yeah. It seems like half the population here is like from California these days. <laughs> That's right. California, yeah. Texas. Yeah, it's... yeah. Good. And I'll be spending more time here moving forward. I used to Excellent. live here. And uh, so I'm stoked about that because there's a lot of cool technology around. There's, a, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on in Fort Collins and, and in particular along the Colorado Front Range a lot of geospatial. So yeah, um, I mean we've got we've got Airbus and iCubed. We've got uh, Digital Globe down in Longmont. Um, just uh, a number of, of users here like the U.S. Forest Service. So it's really a hotbed for geospatial technology. Good. I know I'll be uh, I'll be back here next month and we'll probably take in GIS in the Rockies. I always like that event. I don't know if you. It's been a few years since I've that, been. But yeah. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll might go. be worth popping in for a day. I think you yeah. Need day passes and the nice thing about it, what I like, it's it's an affordable event. You know, one of the you know regional regional things. It's it's a nice little show. I always like it. Indeed, it's been a few years, so it's probably time I I showed back up there. I'll let you know <laughs> if I'm going down. Maybe I can you can drive down with me for a day or something. Sounds good. You get press passes, right? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. All right. Um, oh, last thing. Let me ask you about because uh, I know that you have some uh, hardware, and you mentioned you got like a lot of patents and things. So mm -hmm. you're um, the DVR. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so so you know we talked about our line vision software, um, and users don't necessarily have to have our hardware, our geo DVR or geospatial DVR as we call it, digital video recorder. Mm -hmm. um, it's you know, a box. It, it, yeah, it's, it's a box about five and a half pounds, about that big. Uh, and that can record multiple channels of video. So that's typically used on larger platforms such as a helicopter that's got a you know turreted gimbal camera, uh, maybe collecting infrared and high definition. It takes both those channels of video and spatializes them on the fly, gives people the opportunity to drop waypoints, add some other metadata, keywords words to what they're seeing out there as they're doing these long linear patrols so again and in, in, in you know helicopters flying utility lines pipelines things like that uh, but we're also seeing a, a growth in the, the rail industry people putting these on high rail vehicles so they can go out and do um, you know critical track infrastructure inspection or uh, find out where important features are on the wayside and, and get those things geotagged and make sure their databases are updated with the uh, appropriate location information so yeah the geo DVR is is, is a tool that we we sell for the larger platforms um, but again it's not necessary for uh, the use of our line vision software so okay. um, wow. so it, you got it covered you're hitting the enterprise and even the consumer we're consumer, yeah uh, user potentially and, you know to us yeah. it's it's video yeah. um, it's, it's content we don't really particularly care what the content is or where it care uh, came from we're, we're interested in giving people tools to make it easy to geotag it, whatever content you're collecting from whatever platform, and then again, to, to put that into uh, GIS mapping software. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, we're uh, probably out of time. I don't know, we're, I bet we're seven, eight minutes in. Oh, okay. Easy. So um, um, there you have it, Jeff. Um, check out um, Line Vision in the ArcGIS Marketplace. Mm -hmm. That's uh, marketplace.arcgis.com, I think. And um, 
where can people find you online? Uh, We're at uh, www.remotegeo.com. So uh, check us out there, and if you have any questions, you'll fill out the contact form, get in touch with us. Cool. And I'll have a look for your uh, Android app in the future, maybe, right? Yeah. Very near future. Yep. You'll you'll be getting some news on that, and yep. um, uh, that should be in the Google Play Store here shortly as well. All right. There you have it. You heard it first. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, so long from Fort Collins.